Hello, my name's Jake. I work for Natural Resources Wales on the Life Welsh Race Box Project. As you can see behind me, we're here at Cors Caran Bog to celebrate International Bog Day and to show you the importance of bogs for wildlife and habitats, for uh, bogs as an incredible store of carbon, for their water retention um, properties, and as a fantastic landscape and place for us all to enjoy. Cors Caran National Nature Reserve is one of the best examples of race bog habitats here in the UK. It's split up into three main bog domes, the North East Bog, the South East Bog, and here behind me, the largest, the West Bog. Raised bogs start their life as shallow depressions in the bedrock, left behind by retreating glaciers since the last ice age, nearly 10,000 years ago. At first, these glacial lakes infill with reed bed vegetation, which grows up and dies off and accumulates at the bottom of the lake as, as peat. As, the, as this infills, fen vegetation slowly moves in and fe, fen peat starts to accumulate at the bottom of the lake. As sedges, rushes, grasses, trees and scrub grow and die off on this fen, um, peat slowly accumulates even further at the bottom of the lake. At some point, the lake completely fills in and starts to dome and raise up higher than the surrounding ground around it. At this point, the only source of um, water is through rainwater. Um, this means that the conditions on the bog are very acidic and very low nutrient, which means only a, a very specific type of plant can survive this. This is when species like sphagnum, mosses, and other raised bog vegetation can move in, and the continued growing and dying of these mosses and other vegetation um, accumulates peat further into the high raised bog domes that we see today behind us. Raised bogs are one of the most important and rare habitats here in Wales. It's because of this environmental importance that they are designated Special Areas of Conservation, or SACs. There are 50 raised bog sites here in Wales, but only seven of them are designated SAC. Out of any other peatland type, raised bogs have suffered the most decline in the last 100 years. We've lost, it's estimated we've lost nearly 95% of what was previously there. In a healthy condition, raised bogs act as um, carbon sinks, sequestering carbon as dead plant material and storing them on the raised bog dome. However, due to poor management practices, these bogs are now degrading and releasing CO2 into the atmosphere. Healthy peatlands and raised bogs in a good condition absorb CO2 from the atmosphere and can store it as peat, which is really important in the fight against climate change. However, peatlands in a bad condition can actually end up releasing CO2 into the atmosphere. Unfortunately, due to historic poor management practices such as peat cutting, all of the designated raised bog sites here in Wales are all in unfavourable condition. This means that their habitats are in decline and they're releasing CO2 into the atmosphere. This is why the Welsh Raised Bogs Life Project run by Natural Resources Wales has been set up to try and restore these sites back to a better condition. The Life of Welsh Raised Bogs Project is the first national programme for raised bogs and any peatland habitat here in Wales. It's funded by the EU Life Fund, Welsh Government and Snowdonia National Park. It covers all seven designated raised bog sites here in Wales and aims to restore them back to a healthy condition. The aims of the project are to, to undertake works like removal of invasive scrub, um, improve natural water levels, um, introduce light grazing and try and introduce race bogs to our local communities and the wider public. Race bogs are home to many important plant species, but the most important is the sphagnum moss. These plants are really the building blocks of all of, all of our peatlands. They grow at about one millimeter, two millimeters a year. As they die off at the base, the, the dead material falls to the bottom of pools like these and forms peat. They're also fantastic at holding water. They can hold 95% of their body weight in water, just like a sponge. It's due to this fantastic water storing capability that peatlands are able to stay wet, humid and healthy even through long periods of drought and hot weather. Some other important raised bog vegetation include the sunny yellow bog asphodel, bog rosemary, which is also the county flower of here in Ceredigion, and the carnivorous sundew, 
which gets a lot of its nutrients from catching flies and other insects um, by producing a sticky nectar and the flies get stuck on the plant and get slowly digested.